Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I'm in the backyard of my friend Mike and Celeste home. These two have been friends of ours for a long time. Mike is a problem solver. They didn't have a good gardening place. They've got a high and low yard and Mike came up with a great solution. You gotta see it, stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com with my friend Mike. Mike, you love setting up a beautiful backyard. As you can see here, this is a great place in an urban setting. How long have you guys lived here? Uh, going on almost six years. Six years. And what did this look like when you first got here? Oh man, this was the eyesore for sure. All right. It was, we didn't even come outside for almost two years because it was so overwhelmingly ugly. So Mike and Celeste have done a lot of things here and they're very like-minded that we are in that they use a lot of recycled materials. And you'll see uh, items here like recycled concrete chunks, other pieces of repurposed um, material. And they've created an outdoor space. One thing you didn't have here though was a vegetable garden area, right? Yep. Now what gave you the idea to put in a, a garden? Was it your idea or Celeste's? Well, she wanted a garden for quite some time. We actually did have this little tiny space in the back that was only big enough for two plants. Um, that but, ain't nearly enough. No. So uh, we had this ugly hill, and I didn't know what to do with it. And one day, my friend Bobby had some extra dirt, and I thought, well, let's build a garden. And so, here we are. Yeah. So here's the thing here. When you look here, we're standing in the upper part. We're in a suburban lot. Off to our right here, about 20, 25 foot, you can see the lawn, the edge of the yard drops very quickly, and we're along a street here, and they've created a really nice screen backdrop, but to get down to one area to the other is a little difficult, and Mike solved at least two problems here. One, gardening space, he came up with this, and number two, uh, you've got an access way. Now you can get from this upper part down to the lower part pretty easily using this. So what gave you the idea for this? Where, where'd you come up with this? How do you design it? What are some of the insights you might offer our viewing family here? Uh, honestly, kind of spur of the moment. Okay. I, uh, I had extra concrete, like you said, some repurposed. I wanted to repurpose it in some way. And it was just kind of a pile of rubble on the bottom of the hill. And, uh, and I wanted to have some way to access the bottom. And uh, like you said, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone. So uh, I just kind of engineered it up in my head. I saw some pictures of slope gardens yes. on uh, the interwebs, but uh, you know nothing that really popped out. And I just thought, well, this would be a simple, easy way to, to do that, to give her some space to garden and uh, get an access road and keep it fairly cheap and, you know. Right on. Well, boy, you knocked it out of the park here. I'm seeing eight uh, planting bins here a night's access down the middle. Uh, I've already seen the kids out here around it. And uh, boy, it has really added a lot. Man, you even got a garden gnome. Who does that? Anyway, uh, you got a garden gnome here. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. We're gonna walk down a little bit here. So I'm gonna take a, follow me down, man. Here okay. we go. All right. All right. Here we are taking a look back up the hill on this, and now you can see a little bit of the construction detail. So walk us through a little bit how you designed this, how you measured it, uh, some of the materials you used, and let's go from there. Okay, yeah, so uh, the design was pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, I wanted something fairly simple, something that wouldn't, you know, I mean, I threw this up in basically one evening. So um, what I did was I measured from the end of the rocks right there where the hill kind of drops off to about where we're at. Uh, so I knew what the measurements would be as far as the, the length of the boards I needed. How long are the sidewalls on this? Uh, it's 10 feet. So it's just 10 foot lumber. Nice. Um, so yeah, and then just kind of measured out how, how wide I wanted it to be, you know, got a, got a visual for where the flatter area of the, of the slope was and, uh, and went from there. And then, and honestly, I just kind of like said, it was, it was engineered as we went. So it wasn't uh, some master plan or anything like that. Right, and talk to you as you went, right? Kind yeah, of, all so right. that's pretty much what we've done with the rest of the yard. It was kind of a work in progress and then can't, and it comes together. So uh, yeah, no no master engineering, just uh, 
Got some of the lumber, you know, used uh, Douglas fir for it. Right. Uh, wanted to kind of keep the cost down, so I thought about using pressure treated or redwood, but it was uh, way too expensive. And right. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, so I just ended up using Douglas fir for my first run. And Right. Um, There's things you can do with this. You can oil treat it now, linseed oil. Uh, I wouldn't use motor oil or anything like that simply because of contamination. But yeah, there's treatments on it. Yep. And of course, Douglas fir will age somewhat here. Uh, but giving it some oil and moisture is really going to help. This is going to uh, be additive, Mike, over the years. What's really nice about this is you look around the yardscape here, things have aged nicely that you put in. They look like they belong there. And this will certainly, even though it looks brand new because it's only a week or so old, uh, this will weather and, and kind of take on a nice patina that will match the back yeah. of the rest of the yard here. Way cool. And there's some options, hey, if uh, things that you can do, uh, as you can see, this is a very adaptable design. So depending on your slope, the length of the slope, you could figure out uh, more bends, less bends, narrower, wider. Um, you wouldn't want to get much wider on each of these because it would get hard to reach on the outer edges. But this is about the overall outer limits width-wise. And if you wanted to, you could put handrails, you can do more decor, night lighting. There's a lot of creativity you can do with what he's done here. Mike, this has been a great project. We're looking forward to um, times out in your backyard, enjoying a good meal, seeing this in the backdrop. And uh, it's fun to see all the plannings and the things that are going on here. A um, lot of uh, productivity is going to be happening here. Any yeah. last, uh, last words of advice to anybody on this or things you think about on this? No, just go for it. If you're going to do something like this, uh, said, you know, don't overthink it. It comes together. So, right on. Um, Looks like you had some fun building it. Yeah, it was fun. It's good to have some kids that can do some grunt work for you. Yeah, right on. You know, like I said, some of this concrete was just uh, yep. repurposed. That took a lot. That actually took the most work out of all of this stuff was just right. moving the rocks back into place. But, what I really uh, like about Mike's approach on this, though, is using all of that uh, concrete chunks instead of taking it to the landfill, it became a resource now. It's covering the side here. There can be ground cover that comes up through it gives texture to the backyard and hard edges. So really nicely done. Well, if you've got an idea like this you'd like to share with your fellow viewers, why don't you post it in the comment section below? If we use it, we'll give you credit for it. And if you found this to be helpful, why don't you like the video? Better yet, why don't you subscribe to our channel? And when you do, make sure you ring the bell. That way, you'll make sure you're notified every single time a video is produced. Well, Mike and Celeste, thank you for uh, allowing us to be your friends, first of all, and secondly, looking at this great project. Until the next time, that's Mike, and I'm Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.